Sienna is an 11 year old gymnast and her dream is to be in the Olympics. However, professionals have to eat very strict diets. So today we're going to be eating an Olympic gymnast diet for 24 hours. But will this put Sienna off her dream? I'm not sure I want to be an Olympian gymnast anymore. So the Olympic gymnast whose diet we're going to be following is Annie Raisman. Woo! She's and actually a gold medalist in yeah, the Olympics. Yeah, she is. She actually eats mostly plant-based, which is nice. Oh wow, that's so yeah. cool, isn't it? So when she wakes up, she has a glass of celery juice, and then after that, she usually drinks some hot water with lemon or an iced coffee with soy milk. Ooh. Mm. There's three things, and I feel like we should try all of them, so let's like make something each. Maybe you can make the iced coffee. Yeah, okay. And you can make the <laughs> celery juice. Okay. I'll make the lemon with hot water. Okay, so we actually have pre-made celery juice since we don't have a juicer. So this is celery and lemon. I'm gonna got shake it up. I'll put it in glass. Oh, wow, we've got loads. Well, I got the easiest job out of all of it. My iced coffee. I haven't made a coffee in such a long time. I'm confused. I was excited to get iced coffee for this fam because I don't normally drink coffee. I'm not allowed. The family have banned me from drinking coffee because I'm crazy enough. Can confirm crazy levels up to 11 all the time anyway. Coffee just breaks the scale, doesn't it, Jen? Yeah, I don't like drinking coffee myself. It makes my heart beat so fast. I feel like I just can't have caffeine. We should have lemons. Do we even, oh no. Sienna. What? Lemons. Oh, yay. Have you noticed that she's having just loads of liquids? Yeah, she, has, she doesn't really have like a proper breakfast in the morning. Who loves the smell of coffee? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, that's so and good. then as soon as you try it, it's gross. You always need to roll lemons to get the juice out, but one time I rolled it so much and I decided I'd roll it with my feet and like stand on it to make it, all the juice come out. And the juice came out so much that it all like split open under my foot and then in the end the lemon juice was all wasted, so don't do that. Ooh, how are you gonna make it ice though? Because we don't have any ice. I know. Yeah, I just feel like we're okay, really struggling right now to make these basic drinks. I found it really easy to make mine. I know, because yours was pretty I'm just such a pro at making Do we have straws? Oh, look. That is not gonna be cold. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be lukewarm. Ew. Oh. That's not even remotely so iced watery. coffee. Like, come on. And it's, look at the colour of it. You need that more milk, mate. He needs oh. some milk. Oh. I definitely should get a job in Starbucks, shouldn't I? <laughs> you take a half an hour to make one drink. It's very interesting drink. Like, it's like lemony. No, me yeah. and Dad used to have lemon hot water, but then we stopped having it because it literally erodes your, your teeth. It's really bad for your teeth, but it's very good for your insides. What do we have here? We have celery juice, iced coffee, and hot lemon water. I think I'd like to try those two. Definitely not that one. Do you think we should try the celery juice? I first? think we should try it all. Cheers! Cheers. Dad, this has tried taste... celery juice before. <laughs> this tastes just like, I don't know, if you lure mowed your garden mm. and then you like blended it up. And I'm yeah, it's a great description. It says it's got spinach juice in it. Mm. Mm. Celery juice, lemon juice, and spinach. No, I have juice. heard, we haven't tried this before, but I do know Cold people pressed vegetable juice. who have celery juice every morning and it makes them feel really good. I actually feel like that's a really nice start to the day, don't mm. you? Mm. It feels very really like fresh. It. It's hydrating. And obviously gymnasts do have to keep healthy, don't they, Sienna? Yeah. Would you like to have this every day? Not every day. I was no. detecting Sienna's facial expressions there. I'm like, how do you find like the professional Olympic gymnast diet so far? The drinks aren't my favourite. Well, you don't let me drink coffee, Sienna. Mm -mm. Does it taste good? It tastes alright. I mean, it tastes nice. like a warm coffee. You mean lukewarm. <laughs> but she obviously has this to give her a lot of energy. Do you feel like you need coffee to give you energy in the morning, Sienna? No. Lemon drink, go on. Try to drink it without pulling your face. Okay. Ready? Go on. <laughs> I'm really it. pulling your face. You're making me laugh. Making my tongue water looking at it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can I try? Yeah. Try not to pull a face, me. You can do it. Delicious. Mia is literally like emotionless, wow. aren't you? She's really no, good. No, I just it. love sour food. Well, no, she you loves sour. It's not like even that sour. Ready? Like, I don't, I wasn't even trying not to pull a face. Delicious. Next up, Ali does a workout 
and she said the sorry, other day. Sorry, I have to interrupt you, but you have to address what's happened to your bedroom, Sienna. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. By the way, all the all the gymnastics stuff in my bedroom has been moved downstairs. Solved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Has been moved downstairs into the playroom. Solved. No, it hasn't been sold. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the playroom is bigger, so for the summer holidays, there's more space for me to do gymnastics and also for Cameron Coe to use it. No, but also with, um, Sienna has now got a private coach. Yeah. And so there needs to be more room. So Sienna wanted to Sorry! go. <laughs> Next, she does a workout. She says, the other day I put on a Shakira video and tried to copy her for a whole song Aww, she and she says her. it was only three and a half minutes but it was such a good workout i'm really confused so, nervous. not that i'm sad like yeah. it doesn't actually care but you guys know like how much i love twerking and things for any excuse yeah <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that good at dancing so go on sienna <laughs> you shouldn't say that sienna well it's true though it's like slow <laughs> Who's worked up an appetite? Me! <laughs> I'm trying to remember what straight legs. Okay, so next. She usually goes for a seedy bagel or a bagel with nuts to make sure she's getting in some protein. Or if she's in the mood for veggies, she'll opt for cauliflower rice and avocado. <gasps> I really want a bagel. Wow. Cauliflower rice and avocado, it sounds something like you'd have for dinner, not breakfast. That yeah. Was, I like eating healthily, but that's this even like nice lunch and a dinner. They meal. actually sound really nice though. So far the food's been, well, it hasn't really been food, it's more been drink. All you've had is celery juice, which you hated. Yeah. So I'm excited for bagels. So we've got seeded bagels like she has. And she says she has them with nuts, so we've either got this almond butter or we've got this nush, which is like cream cheese made out of almonds. So they're both almondy. My Something seems a bit seedy over here. <laughs> My favourite is actually the nush because it's like cream cheese and I love cream cheese and bagels. So it is nuts and it's seeds. I am going to be making cauliflower rice. So this is organic and it's frozen and I just saute it from frozen, which seems actually really convenient because when I heard it I was like oh that sounds impractical. Oh sorry I can't I have to intervene. You have to use you it. think both of those packets yes. are gonna fit in there. Says the person who made iced coffee with loads of hot water. Right. I'll do it and when it goes all over the oven and Make you complain to me about how I made it messy it's not my fault. Have any of you tried cauliflower rice before? Yeah I think we've had it in oh, restaurants. Basically, you know what cauliflower rice is. Look, it's this is my job. I was meant to be making it. Sorry, I can't. I'm just going to go over here. It's very obvious. I think. I don't think we ever addressed how your mother was hiding in the tree in the intro. She's returned to the tree. We've actually decided to combine her two different breakfasts into one like breakfast, but still it seems like quite a interesting kind of like small breakfast. But at least it's actual food and not just liquid, so I'm excited for this. Can't wait to try. These are actually protein bagels. I'm so hungry after all that dancing and I kind mm. of feel a bit sad looking at this. I'm happy about the bagel, but it's just like why? Why is there avocado and cauliflower rice? Like it needs something else to it. That just seems like wrong and random. No offense. Mm. I'm gonna try it. Really nice. I, I can't say about it till I've actually tried it. That is yeah. just being prejudiced. Tastes like cauliflower and avocado. Completely plain. Because we've got to remember that. Why isn't there soy sauce or something on it? She doesn't usually have this with the bagel, so it, mm. like it needs like sausages or just something this is nice though mm. you know what would make it even better if i had cucumber on it though <laughs> yeah Woo! yeah Whoa! Ow! Whoa! mommy fears georgie is trying to bring back the worm because this segment of the video has been sponsored by sky cinema and the film that we are most excited about this month is breaking point which is based upon people taking on break dancing so can you guys remember when georgie used to actually do the worm all the time i feel like it was maybe before you were pregnant with karma was it yeah do i look good when i'm doing it or do i need you to work on it again can i try yeah. i go like on. i don't think i've ever tried <laughs> yeah yeah go on you can do it can't oh, you? yeah i can't I 
I can kind of do it, and I can do the moving one. Are <laughs> <laughs> you okay? <laughs> So our favourite film on Sky Cinema this month is... D -d -d I already said it a minute ago. Breaking no, point. It's not even a surprise. Breaking point. Breaking oh. point. <laughs> okay. So the, the premise of the film is it's two brothers. They're kind of rival brothers. They're not, they don't particularly see eye to They're eye. They're adopted, aren't they? They're adopted, so, yeah. but they are both amazing at breakdancing. And they're thrust together when they're both invited to audition for the World Breaking Championships. So just the Ooh. same as Sienna is interested in the Olympics for gymnastics, this is it of breakdancing. And um, you've actually been doing the worm recently in gymnastics as well. Well, yeah, you? I have. We're actually learning a skill called the fish roll and our coach said to help you learn it, you're going to have to learn the worm and, and then she's like, can I know if you do the worm? I was like, no, but my mum can. I know, she's has a bit of pressure now, so that's why I need to start practicing as well, don't I? Yeah. So now the pressure's on, like next time we go back to Sienna's gymnastics, they're probably going to be like, oh, we've heard <laughs> things about you. So we love this film because we love nice family films and obviously ones which are centred around being athletic and moving yourself as well so although we're not personally doing break dancing there might be a little there might be a little dark horse who starts bringing back the worm again might not yeah. and some other exciting films this month on sky cinema are black adam and babylon and plus now july is here it's a month filled with brand new film collections including action icons from the 3rd to the 20th of july such as the expendables and mission impossible from the 3rd to the 31st of july so let us know in the comments what is the film you are most looking forward to also whether any of you are any good at break dancing <laughs> and you need to go over and watch Breaking Point on Sky Cinema. I'm going to be making broccoli and spirulina soup for lunch. You can eat that one. So Ali either has a vegetable broth um, and she has broccoli and spirulina and then um, soup. And her other favourite DIY recipe is guacamole. So I'm going to be making the guacamole and Mia's going to be making the spirulina broth. I'm just going to sit here and watch you make my lunch. I'm actually really hungry after breakfast. How do you feel, Sienna? Um, I feel quite hungry as well, but I'm excited for the guacamole. And I did like the breakfast, but I'm not so excited for Can I just quickly this. say, is the broccoli meant to have a hole in the bottom? There's a hole in the bottom of the broccoli. Mm -hmm. Not this one. Right, let's cut it out. This might, oh, this might not end up being a it. vegan broth then. Ew. Right, the hole stops there. <laughs> We'll just cut that bit out. Can you just put it straight in the bin? I don't think it's in there anymore. Okay. I've got to say this, fam. I'm rather enjoying watching Mia and Sienna make the lunch, because usually I'm the person who make all of the meals. So this is actually a fun little video. <laughs> video. <laughs> I do know what to say. I was just like, it's a video. This looks very delicious. <laughs> now I have to try and blend all of this broccoli, the cashews, which I'm gonna add to make it more creamy. This, unfortunately, the spirulina, and I'm gonna add some salt, and I swear we had a stock cube. What happened to the stock cube? When I was like five or something, I didn't know what stock cubes were. I thought they are like sweets or something, so oh I put, no. I drank oh. it. It was oh, so that, gross. Ew, that, that does yeah. not yeah. sound nice. Then I never touched one ever again. I think maybe we add these at the bottom so they get properly mixed. Mixed. And let's add tons and tons no, of no, spirulina. No, no, no. Hang on. You're cheating. What? You're cheating. It doesn't say she has a Starbucks. She had an iced coffee. That was earlier. What's going on? It's not even a coffee. It's a matcha. I'm the coach. Since when? when? <laughs> I'm the gymnast coach and I can tell you what to do. Mm, yummy. Right, Ali? Ugh. Smell this, mummy. You said you loved spirulina. Go on, you eat it, mummy. Go on, you eat it, mummy. <laughs> no, it tastes like pond water. I think you need to add I more think... liquid in there. Yeah. Oh, but then have a... we'll just use that later on. We'll just have it as a side. Okay. Like there's too much there. Yeah. I'll do it for you. Okay, I actually have a fear of blunders. Oh, be quiet. Ew, why is it that thick? 
So we didn't add enough water into it. Yeah, you added loads well, of cashews. Well, then I kept saying we need to add more. Let's just have, we no. haven't got all day. It's not soup, like, it's like sludge. Making soup for lunch takes Green ages. Sludge. Look, I promise I'm not trying to sabotage your dreams of being an Olympic gymnast, okay? But <laughs> this, this is, is what you have to eat. <laughs> Gold medal. It's a piss on your chest. Green sludge. This will make your splits that more like sweaty. The ocean. Sienna, your splits are gonna. It's probably lukewarm. This helps you be more flexible, agile. Why does your hair come out like this? <laughs> it's all <Yeah. laughs> Come on. <laughs> come on, girly twirls. Let's show the fish yeah, twirls. What we've got for lunch. This looks Sorry. lovely. Absolutely lovely. This is uh, that. prepared by Sienna earlier. Look, we've got avocado and um, it's guacamole. Oh yeah, guacamole and like vegetables to dip in it, and it looks lovely. And <coughs> this is what Mum made, not me. This is something Shrek would eat. Mm. Don't breathe it in. It's actually really nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it has loads of different flavors. I really want some guacamole to clear my mouth from that flavour. Mm, that's really good. It's delicious. It's really delicious. It's actually, it's very nutritious. You sure you want to be an Olympic gymnast now, Sienna? Open up! Open wide! The perfect description for this is not something Shrek would eat. This is pureed frogs. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to be an Olympian gymnast anymore. Look. Let's go down and down and down and down. Come on, put on your elbows and don't bend your knees. Oh, I think it's snack time. Yeah, Great I don't time want to do you. it. Didn't do it. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she did. Apparently, it's snack time. Oh, look. Woo! Woo! snack! <laughs> right, let's just ignore the mess on the floor. Sienna, <laughs> okay. what does Ali have for her snack? Okay. Hang on it. What is going on with all the frozen berries on the floor? Like you, it's you! 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 Why are they blaming me, Fish Fam? I'm, I'm just a cameraman. Mia, stop it. That laugh is really annoying, Can you please. Quiet, see you. If on. she needs a little something extra during the day, Ali loves smoothies. The gymnasts say she's been known to throw just about anything healthy into the blender and give it a try. Mm. Ooh, and her latest ingredient is. I forgot the product! Ashwagandha, then she also have hemp seeds in there, soy milk, frozen berries. And then does it say protein? I'm sure it doesn't say protein powder. Does it not? No, I don't think it does. No, it's because she says she likes uh, she likes protein this packed beverage because it's protein, protein packed. Protein yeah. Packed. Berry, should I be in control of the blender again? I think that's a no. terrible idea, but yeah, go ahead. Basically, Darren does actually have some ashwagandha, doesn't he? Your daddy has yeah. it. And they're capsules. My daddy has it. So maybe they, you can break one of those open because we don't actually have the powder. Okay. Mmm, look. But I think ashwagandha powder is good because okay. it like helps people's bodies recover from mm. stress. And I feel like when you're an athlete or Olympic, mm. you know, athlete, you, you do a lot of exercise. I think yeah. that's the reason yeah. behind that it. That lid is not uh, on, Mum. Why is this? It's not the lid. It's the bottom. It's literally falling out. Oh. Everything is kind of going a bit weird at the moment. I don't know what's happening. We're just going to... This blender is probably... I'm genuinely scared. I know you guys are too. This is probably the last like blend this, of its hot. life, okay? <laughs> I think for my birthday, you guys need to buy me a new blender. Cheers. Mmm. I actually really like that. Mmm, it's creamy. That tastes really nice, yeah. Creamy, fruity, probably the first thing I've liked today. Um, I liked the breakfast, but it just wasn't a good portion. Dinner time! <laughs> that was difficult. Her go-to is classic oven roasted potatoes oh. with a side of greens, which is cucumbers and brussels. Oh. That would be it for her dinner, and that is practically pure vegetables and I feel like you wouldn't be able to be substantial with that. But she also says, I cooked with tempeh the other night and it was actually pretty good. So we're going to be adding tempeh. Yay! And tempeh is something we do actually have all the yeah. time, don't we? And it's kind of a little bit like tofu because it's made out of soya beans and they're fermented. But I actually love this. It's kind of meaty-ish, isn't it? Mm. And we don't normally have roast potatoes for dinner, and I, I love roast potatoes. Me too. I know, I'm Who's excited. Who's in the roast potato gang, Fizz fans? So this sounds fun. And what about the Brussels sprout gang? Flat you like Brussels sprouts? I do like sprouts. Them. That's why I call them flat sprouts. <laughs> it's my way of chopping potatoes. Karma, do you know what we've been doing today? 
We've been eating an Olympian gymnast diet and we've ate some very interesting foods including green slimy gross sludge. But this food is gonna be nice, okay? I promise. Ready? Out of the way, we've got some hot stuff coming out of the oven. Oh, oh, they are good. Oh, 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 Roast potatoes. We've got Brussels sprouts mm. and cucumber and tempeh. Does that sound good? Should we get the table? Do you want to serve it up? Sure. Um, Ali? <laughs> dinner is served. Wow. The Olympic gymnast Thank dinner. You. Right, this looks fantastic. Wow, I can't wait to try these roasties. Go. They look so good. This one's mm. yours, Kawa. All of this makes sense like the potatoes, the tempeh, and the Brussels sprouts. The cucumber is a bit out of place, but I guess it's nice to have something fresh. Yeah, I like it. I feel like I'm going to give this meal a 6 out of 10. The potatoes are 10 out of 10, but the rest of them. Like, I like the cucumber. But it's kind of a bit random, and then I don't really like the Brussels sprouts or the tempeh because they're kind of like really plain. Mm -hmm. He needs some sauce or something with it. Mm -hmm. I want ketchup. Kava sounds like he likes it. Dessert time! Yay! And Ali either has banana bread, homemade, or she has ice cream, which is like frozen bananas blended up. It's actually really good. Here we've got some bananas, which we pre-prepared earlier, didn't we, yep. Sienna? And she also has chocolate chips in her nice cream. And I've never actually tried this before. No, I need for a fact, I've got a little bit of vanilla extract as well to put in there to give it a bit more of a vanilla flavor. We've had an ice cream before, and it is the best of his fam, trust me. And we've got three bananas, and we've got a masha, and we've got coconut yogurt, and we've got banana fat. That is right, we are team making the banana bread. So first we should start with the bananas, let's peel them. Be the masher queen. So the reason this is called oh, nice oh, cream is, is because it's nicer than regular ice cream because it's just made out of bananas. Now if, I know what you're thinking, how is that gonna compare? But honestly, when we first tried this like nearly 10 years ago, no, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, it honestly tastes like it vanilla is amazing. ice cream. Yeah, like you wouldn't know the difference. It's honestly, there's some recipes where they're like, they sound good but they're not that good. And then there's some where they don't sound good but they're amazing. And this is the one where it sounds not that good but it is amazing. But also guys, it's best to make it in a food processor, not in a, like a blender. Or a broken blender. blender. Ready guys for an explosion? Oh no. Yeah, good girl. She's being so helpful. All of it? Yes, all of it. Can I mash it? No, now we don't need to mash it. We need to mix it. One smoking <laughs> No, it honestly really smells like it's smoking, but anyway, I'm gonna add the chocolate chips in. Looks so good. While we wait for the banana bread, we're gonna try the banana and ice cream. I feel like it's so banana y. <laughs> you did really well making this, Sienna. Thank you. Mm. So do you think this is a good dessert? Yeah. yeah. Do you like Definitely. it? This is something mm. we would actually eat, isn't it? Yeah. Are you ready to see the best banana bread you have ever seen in your life? I'm ready. I love banana bread. Look at that look. Like good banana bread. I must admit that smells does. delicious. Mm. Ah, this is giving me flashbacks. Of what? Of oh, you in a bush. Oh, I thought you meant me as banana bread recipe. Mm. That's actually amazing. So what do you think, Sienna, of the meals today? I think, oh, Mia! I think they've gotten better as they've gone through. Like, the lunch was just, I don't want to think about it. But the dinner was really nice, and the dessert actually has got good taste. I actually really love this dessert. So, Sienna, do you still want to be an Olympic gymnast? I do, I do actually, because I feel like eating healthy is a good thing, and I have actually still enjoyed today, even though there's been a few interesting moments. 